Hello everyone, and welcome to another Catabla informative video. Last time we were talking about full dive virtual reality gaming. If you haven't seen that yet, it will be popping up in the upper right hand part of your screen right now. Because there is so much to say on this matter, my partner in crime is here to discuss some more applications for full dive VR. While gaming is the most exciting aspect for us gamers, the actual driving force behind the funding into this technology mostly resides outside of that. There are applications for medical, both mental and physical, education and career training. So gather around my friends and let's head off to the future. If we're talking about full dive virtual reality and its applications, one major area we have to talk about are the medical applications of it. Currently, VR is being used more and more to help treat patients with PTSD. It is part of exposure therapy to help patients confront their fears. Quite often, avoidance is a coping mechanism that PTSD sufferers use to stay away from certain situations, emotions, or thoughts, as those can be scary for someone who has lived through a traumatic experience. Exposure therapy helps those patients face their fears and be better able to cope with those kinds of situations. Now that's where full dive virtual reality can come into play. Because recreating a scenario as close as possible is the most effective way to overcome PTSD, it is not always safe to recreate those situations in real life. For example, a veteran who has PTSD from combat exposure won't easily or safely be able to recreate that scenario. But with full dive virtual reality, we can recreate the scenario to a degree that would make it almost non-distinguishable from the real thing, but in a safe environment. Along the same lines, it can be used to help cure anxiety and phobias like a fear of driving or a fear of heights. Because getting people who suffer from these issues into those situations to help them overcome their fears can be dangerous, full dive VR would be a much safer and more practical way of rehabilitating the patients. When it comes to education, there are a few applications available. So let's start out with the easiest part and work our way up to the more theory-based topic. As many of you know, post-secondary education is crazy expensive. By the time you are complete, you could have a six-figure student loan that you have to pay off. Full Dive VR could bring down costs of tuition and eliminate the need for on-campus accommodations. This would also allow people to attend any university in the world as distance would no longer be an issue. VR has already opened up a massive door for learning experiences. There are currently organizations out there promoting VR for education. Imagine taking your lesson with your VR headset on and seeing what your professor is talking about. Now, let's take it one step further with Full Dive VR. You were learning about world history, but now you are there, feeling the total experience in the virtual world. You can go see different cultures, hover over the beaches of Normandy, or sit in a room with Albert Einstein listening to him speak. This kind of learning has the potential to create a better curriculum and develop an experience that develops better learning habits, thus creating a more educated society. So let's get into the really theoretical portion of this now. In light of this experience being completely inside a virtual world, there is a potential for time dilation. What I mean by this, if you don't know what time dilation is, is let's say you spend four months inside the VR world for your semester. Now, what if in the real world, only a single working day had passed? This would mean that people would get a full education in under a week. The progression of humanity and the things we could do by having that extra time would be unfathomable. Of course, there are things we would have to consider biologically such as, could a brain even handle that sort of pressure? Because what we are essentially talking about is uploading information to the brain at an exponential speed. If any of you have seen The Matrix, it's essentially that. I know Kung Fu. Having discussed the applications on people who have mental issues, let's now go over how Full Dive VR can help those with physical disabilities. For individuals who have loss of mobility and motor functions, quality of life definitely takes a hit. Whether this be paraplegics, quadriplegics, sufferers of ALS, people with cerebral palsy, I mean the list keeps going on and on. With the use of full dive VR, these individuals who have lost movement in their body, whether it be partially or fully, 
are now able to go into a world where they have their full movement back and can enjoy freedom from their impairments for a while. This would be especially potent for those who have constant pain in their everyday life and would allow them an escape from that pain without needing to constantly take pain medications, which may not even totally get rid of that pain. Of course, this may also lead to the issue of not wanting to go back into the real world and could possibly start causing depression from the normal lives. So I guess at that point, the question is, do the benefits outweigh the risks? Now, this is not necessarily a new idea, as many movies have already explored this very subject, such as Avatar or Ready Player One. So on the horizon of Full Dive VR, I would say that this application is very possible as one of its first uses. Career training is also a huge aspect that could be used in Full Dive. For example, pilots already use VR in what they call flight simulations. However, in the grand scheme of things, this simulation is not a real thing. What if that same pilot was able to go into the virtual world and practice, feeling all of the same sensations that they would if they were in an actual plane? We've already touched on some medical aspects of full dive VR, but the same could be said for a surgeon who could routinely practice a procedure over and over again until they can perform it without a flaw on a real living person. Things like this give humanity such a boost in longevity. Now these are some of the most obvious examples, but we do not have to stop there. Perhaps it is a machinist who is looking over a simulated product in the virtual world to discover flaws in the system and practically learning how to fix it and simulate all the problems that occur. Or how about being a public speaker and practicing in front of a simulated audience? Truly, the sky is the limit when it comes to these things. There could even be things that you want to learn as a hobby but do not have the funds to do so in the real world. Want to learn how to play a grand piano but do not have the several thousand dollars in order to purchase it? Well, you could probably simulate one and learn in there. I can think of so many applications for this and it's just, it, it's mind-blowing. At the end of the day, I think we can all agree that having this technology would not only increase availability to learn, but it would also benefit the world in a massive way. When it comes to full dive, it really does seem like the sky is the limit. And it only matters if we come up with ways to take it higher. Education, medical, hobbies, gaming, technological advances, professional training, and even something as simple as getting away from the real world. There is one thing that is utterly certain. We are at a deciding time in this growth, and I do hope they continue down this endeavor. If you enjoyed this, feel free to have a discussion with us in the comments below, and leave a like to show us that we did this right. If you really like this and want to see more in-depth videos like this one in a variety of educative subjects, then feel free to subscribe as we upload multiple times a week. Until the next time, we will leave you with this. Life is full of challenges and hardships. Could this technology be an application that succeeds in helping out a large population and bettering life? It's hard to say, but we would like to say yes. We do hope you enjoyed this, and we do hope you learned something. Toodles.